Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here with all of you. Yeah, the brand colors for the Halo universe are hope and wonder, humanity, um, and heroism. And I wanted to take a moment to thank the heroes in my life. First, thank you to the amazingly talented team at 343. It's a privilege to serve. Oh! Thank you to Benji for creating this epic sci-fi world that I have the honor of stewarding. for having faith in me and giving me the keys to this extraordinary world. And thank you to my wonderful kids, Reed and Jojo, my amazing husband, who said after a year of marriage, I thought I was just marrying you, but there are three people in our marriage, you, me, and Xbox. I don't think he thought it was a compliment. Um, thank you to AIS and the women and the men in our industry. And most importantly, Thank you to the fans for your enthusiasm and support for the world of Halo. When I was 10, my career goal was to be a professional athlete. I'm not saying I had, I was talented enough, but like many kids, I believed I was. Um, my school had a kids magazine, and one month there was an article about Babe Dietrichson, one of the greatest female athletes of all time. She was an early trailblazer and excelled in many sports, and in 1932, she won three Olympic medals. The magazine article was about her childhood, when she, Mildred Dick Dietrichson, would hit so many home runs in the neighborhood baseball games that she earned the nickname of Babe, Babe Dietrichson after Babe Ruth. As I read the article, a new vision materialized for me. Babe Ruth was a national hero, who's was also my dad's childhood hero. But Babe Dietrichson was a hero that I could be. She inspired me to dream about being a hero. After I read the article, I went to my dad and I told him, did you notice that my initials are the same as Babe Ruth? B.R., Bonnie Ross. And I said, do you think it's a coincidence of me alluding to my potential professional sports career? My dad just looked at me and said, Babe's real name wasn't Babe, it was George, and you need to get a real job. <laughs> and so I did. I got myself the best possible job, not just in one world, but two. Like many of you, when Halo Combat Evolved released in 2001, it changed my perspective on gaming. I didn't just fall in love with the game, I fell in love with the universe and the potential of the Halo universe. In my mind, Halo is a universe worthy of devotion. Master Chief is humanity's last hope, and Master Chief is you, and you are the hero. My first E3 was, I think, in 95, and I just moved over from working on core Microsoft tech with mostly men. As we were setting up the booth, there was a group of women um, walking the E3 floor, and I thought, how refreshing. I finally get to work with women. I don't know why it wasn't applied to me that these women were exceptionally beautiful, um, but the next day, these women were dressed up in way less than the rest of us. They were booth babes, and I will admit I was a bit heartbroken. Fast forward 20 plus years, and we've come a long way, and it makes me so proud to be part of this industry. This year, we've honored Amy and Jay, gifted trailblazers who are inspiring future generations to dream about being heroes. And as an industry, I think we should celebrate the strides we've made as creators with a multitude of new perspectives, a spectrum of new stories, and a vast range of new characters. As we look at our real world today, I know our role as game creators is bigger and more important than we think. 20 years ago, gaming was relegated to the basement. Today, we stand alongside Hollywood, but as interactive entertainment. We create worlds where we conceive stories that inspire players to become their own heroes for a real world that is desperately yearns for new heroes of all shapes, of all sizes, of all abilities, all colors, and of all genders. Creating heroes. <laughs> Creating heroes for everyone is a noble cause worthy of all of our devotion. And to quote my favorite hero, Master Chief, I think we're just getting started. Thank you.